Okay, we need to talk. So, I've been holding off for a while on actually making a video like this because I guess it can be kind of a hot button topic. But let's backtrack a little bit. What sparked all of this? So there's a video on YouTube talking about a Vietnamese place in the South Bay. If you know what the South Bay is, San Jose, Southern Bay Area. Uh, this Vietnamese restaurant is automatically adding an 18% gratuity, right? And, you know, I understand things are getting expensive. I understand that labor is more expensive. But it seems like this business model that restaurants have is just broken and outdated and needs to just stop, right? So before, especially when I was younger, you would give someone a tip because they gave you amazing service, right? Maybe at a coffee shop, you drop them a dollar because they have two cups and said, one says Lakers, one says not Lakers, right? Or maybe you give a tip at Buffalo Wild Wings because your hostess or host was just so amazing, very attentive, blah, blah. But now, Places just expect a tip from you, even though they didn't really give you service, right? Sure, they have to wipe the table. Sure, they have to do certain things to make sure that you're happy, right? But none of them go above and beyond, right? Like, I've gone to places that automatically throw in a 20% tip, and I didn't fucking talk to them. They never introduce themselves. They never come back to refill the water. But if you don't give them a tip, they look at you like you're the devil. And the reason why we even have tips in America, well, one, it's a part of our cultural society. Like if someone from Korea or Japan came, they'd be like, why the hell are we giving a tip, right? Like, why do I need to tip you for you to give me better service? It doesn't make any sense. But one of the big reasons why we tip is a lot of businesses pay their employees under minimum wage. And as a result, Tipping or tips are given directly to the employees or they're supposed to be at least unless the owner is skimping or Cutting off the top and stuff like that. So if someone only makes like four dollars an hour They can make way more than minimum wage than minimum wage with tips, right? But let's say no one tipped then the owner Needs to pay that difference. So in San Francisco, I think it's like $17 minimum wage. I haven't worked there in a long time so if you're making $5 an hour and you get no tips, your employer still has to pay you minimum wage, right? But with tips, and if you only make $5 an hour, you can make a lot more than San Francisco minimum wage, right? So the business model says, hey, I don't want to pay my employees a livable wage, so I'm going to push this onto the customers so the customers feel morally wrong if they don't tip. And that just, it's so messed up. <laughs> like how can someone not think that's forked, right? So I think, especially you see this a lot today with uh, DoorDash drivers, Uber Eats drivers. I love delivery service apps, right? I don't personally ever get stuff delivered to my house because I don't want to pay you know, a service charge and stuff like that. But I see a lot of uh, gig drivers get really mad at people for not tipping. And they say, it's no tip, no delivery, right? And I think workers at fast, at workers at restaurants that give service or cafes or bars or even like the gig drivers, they're mad at the wrong person, right? They're mad at the customer and what you're so effing cheap, you don't want to tip me. It's like, oh, it's $20 order and you only gave me five bucks, so I'm gonna spit on your pizza. Like, you're mad at the wrong person. You should be mad at your employer for intentionally giving you the short end of the stick, right? So, I, I don't like tipping. Ever since I've gone to other countries like uh, Japan, Asia, what the fuck was a country anymore? I don't know. But over there, service is so good. And it's even better because I know they're not expecting anything from me 
or from you and they just want to provide the best service that they can. So, you know, I'm not saying there's so many things that are also not great about Asian countries, right? But I also think there's so many great things when you get good service when nothing is expected in return, right? It's kind of like you're only talking to someone because you want something from them, right? And the way that Americans look at work and the way that other countries look at, look at work is very different. America has the, I'm going to get mine and I don't care what anyone says. And there's other countries who are very communal focused, who care about each other, you know, even if they don't directly know who they are or what they've done. That's my rant on tipping. I even wrote a script for this, but in the spur of the moment, I just thought I would talk out loud. And hopefully you understand. And if anything is factually incorrect, I don't know. I'm, I'm not YouTube or I'm not Google. I don't know. Ask ChatGPT. Maybe they'll give you some hallucinations. But yeah, thank you. I'm just going to upload this right to YouTube because why not? Bye-bye.